welcome to the after show after the party it's the hotel lobby well after, after the show, show it's is the after party okay after the go. party is the hotel, hotel lobby, lobby. I, I like to skip steps neely all yeah. right so you and i you and i just finished another episode of the rewind we're trying to give people more and more content because why not it's the internet there's no cap there, there's nothing that says you can only do a show a week so we like to take people behind the curtain and just kind of talk about things that that you and i you know discuss when we're not talking you know colorado football when we're not talking jackson state or you know all the things that that you and i talk about so um neely this weekend i took my daughter middle daughter to a birthday party uh which means you know what it means right you drop them off and you get like two or three hours to do whatever you want to do. Yeah. And, you know, the story when you get home is, you know, I was there at the birthday party watching my daughter in the in the jump house. When in reality, you gave them the deuces and you were like, don't tell your mama I'll be back. Well, her mama took it last year and did the same thing, dropped her off. So no big deal there. Uh, so like all good husbands, you know, took my wife's car, got the oil changed, you know, try, tried to be constructive. But I, w I was on my phone and I was like, uh, you know, hooked up. I like driving my wife's car on the weekend because she has Bluetooth. My hoopty does not have Bluetooth. So yeah. I'm like <laughs> flipping through uh, my Apple playlist. I was like, Yacht Rock. I was like, I like rock, but I've never listened to, I've always heard this term over the last few years, Yacht Rock. And I was like, let me see what it is. And so, you know, Apple suggested this playlist and I was like, you know what? I, I kind of like like about a third of these songs. Like I know about a half of them. I was like, so I'm pseudo yacht rock here so so you and i were talking texting back and forth yesterday i was like neely let's come on let's talk about music so here's what we're going to do um and this, this is going to not be politically correct and and it doesn't matter to me because there's no, no harm intended here but neely these are my top 10 artists that are white folks okay these are my top 10. now this doesn't mean that they sold the most music this is my list it, it, it gotcha. has it has meaning to it for whatever reason okay the beatles are not up here you know the rolling stones aren't up here they probably made more money sold more records than, than anybody but okay here, here's my list so let, let me know all right we're going to start at the bottom right i got i got johnny cash coming in at number 10. Uh, hey man i i love the man in black uh there's a street here called Folsom that the stadium is on so uh, I cannot argue with Johnny Cash and a little Folsom and a little boy named Sue. I, I like it. I like it. The, the Ring of Fire, man. It, it gets me going. I went down, down, down. That Ring of Fire, brother. Billy Idol. Let me tell you. I bet you in the eighties. America. Look at me, Miles. We need. We need to talk. We need to talk here. Neely, I bet you Billy Idol in the eighties. That man. <laughs> I was cutting the grass last night lis listening to Flesh for Fantasy. Uh, I bet you that song was was pretty true to life about the way he was uh, living uh, and scoring points, if you will. Because in his heyday, man, uh, he was the man. I can't argue with the Billy Idol either, man. You know, one, one of the things, Charlie, being 53, when cable TV came to pass, and people started to get cable, and the cable was basic. You had a channel called WTBS out of Atlanta, and they had a show called Night Tracks on Friday night, oh my God. which was the videos before MTV. And it came on and like 11 o'clock. It was like 11 o'clock Friday night? Yeah, you got all the Billy Idol eyes without a face that you could handle, man. So uh, Billy Idol is one of those people, you know, here's when you've arrived at an artist, when people start to dress like you and style their hair like you, yeah. and, you know, wear, wear the leather bracelets with a couple uh, studs on them like you. Uh, Billy Idol, put that, you know, The Rock had the eyebrow. <laughs> Billy Idol had that lip. Yeah. I, I want to see his uh, his 23andMe DNA because the, the brother had some lips on him, all right? I, I need to see the lineage <laughs> of Billy Idol. All right, Miles, let's continue with the list. Miles is our director in the back. You never see him. Maybe at the end of this, I'll get Miles to come out. Uh, look, Duran Duran... Oh my God, in the eighties was, yeah. they probably had a two, three, five, I don't know. They had a window where everything they did nearly was just, I mean, it was gold, man. Like Duran oh, yeah. Duran was. Yeah. Hungry like the wolf, Duran Duran. Yes, 
Still in my yeah. playlist. Still in my playlist. Uh, I, I like that one. I like that one, Tyler. <coughs> Since it's the after show, <coughs> I can cough. I like it. I like Tali. I love Duran Duran being on your list. Um, we're going to get to some others that I would substitute on your list. I, you know, so e- even when I made the list, Neely, I thought, you know, there's some other people I could put in here. Oh, yeah. Well, first of all, you you were kind of limited because you you got 10, yeah. right? And there are way more than 10 that you could be on. Oh, absolutely. But I see something that would take off for a couple of months. We'll get to it. All right. So I got Nirvana. I got Fleetwood Mac. Nirvana just has like two songs that I really, really love. Yeah, that's one of the ones I would take off. Yeah, I, you know, I, I could I could put Guns N' Roses in there. I, I, could, put, I could put some other people. But it, at the moment... At the moment, I am listening to About a Girl. Like, there's something about that guitar track that I just just really like right you. now. Hey, not bad at you. Charlie, I looked at your list from the Eagles all the way to Johnny Cash, and there's nothing on here I'm mad about. All right, Fleetwood Mac is not coming off the list. They, they are, they're in there. Uh, no, they wouldn't. I wouldn't take them off. I'll tell you who else is not coming up. Uh, uh, Michael McDonald, brother, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Michael McDonald always as long as that man is on earth living and breathing has an invitation to the cookout you know one of my favorite family guy episodes is michael mcdonald and they have to all talk to each other like michael michael mcdonald sings <laughs> let's go down to the trail. Trail. <laughs> you can't just say let's go to the clam you have to go let's go down to the clam <laughs> Oh man, uh, keep forgetting, dude. I could listen. There's never a bad time to listen to keep forgetting. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh man. So so look, to throw your list back up, and let me just deal with this back five for a second. All right. All right. I'm not gonna take Johnny Cash off. I'm not gonna take Billy Idol off. I'm not gonna take Duran Duran off. I'm not gonna take Fleetwood Mac off. I will take Nirvana off because I think. You could go with Bee Gees right there. You could go with mm. ABBA. There's so many white bands, white musicians that I think were doing the thing before Nirvana did it and then did it so shortly. I would it's, take Nirvana. Oh, it's, it's the guitar for me, Neely. You remember that skit on uh, Dave Chappelle? He had uh, John John Mayer, and he was like, yeah. some people listen, you know, some people feel the drums. Other people feel the guitar. Well, if you're gonna go guitar, I just, I just feel the guitar. Soldier, I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying, I know it. I know it. Oh, it yeah. It's my, it's my I, list at the moment. I'm not mad at your white musician <laughs> list. <laughs> Nearly, that's what it is. Ne- it's Nearly, this is your top ten. That's what I called it. That's what I called it at the very beginning. At the yeah, very beginning, and, and and me and me of mixed race heritage. Uh, I can talk about black folks and white folks equally without you trying to hey. cancel me. So, and I got, you got to tell you, you know, I talk about uh, everybody. Same thing with Nirvana. I mean, you could go your rhythmics. Oh, you could go crowded house. Like there's, there's that there's sweet. Two- there was something about that sweet dreams video that used to scare me when that was a spooky ass video. <laughs> it was just weird. I love the song, but that video was just. Yeah. He should have just gone to be it. it, it, it that and Rocket. Uh that Herbie Hancock with all the mannequins, that thing was weird, man. As a as a kid, it was it was a little troubling. Uh but ha- I have the Eagles number one because they are so diverse and, and so talented. They can sound like country, they can sound like rock and roll, they can sound like pop, they can, you know, they they can just sound like anything. Um but Hall and Oates. Hall and Oates Hall and Oates would have been would have been my number one. Mm. Yeah, Hall and Oates would have been my number one. I and and I, I, Billy Joel somewhere would have made this list as well. Yeah, yeah, he had that big concert over over the weekend. Uh, Piano Man never never gets old. I I classified in my mind Hall and Oates as an R and B group growing up. Like I just felt like they were because the art the the Black Stations played Hall and Oates all the time. They were oh, they were the soundtrack of the NBA. Uh, hey, you know. And I'm gonna tell you, man, don't sleep on John Cougar Mellencamp. Like he I can, had him on the list, and I took him off nearly. I had him on the list, and man, I took he, him off. He, make, he, he would make my list, man. I think I replaced Billy Idol for John Cougar Mellencamp. Uh, but 
pretty pink houses for you and me that oh man ain't that america you oh come on come on yeah come on yeah man yeah all right well, hey, you know, yeah interesting that that's your list and we've been verbally uh doing mine neither one of us had Bruce Springsteen. no uh, it, yeah i'm it, saying what it, i just you know no, I, look, talented, you know, made a killing doing it. Absolute, but absolute talented. But to give me Billy Joel and John Cougar Mellencamp over over Springsteen any day. Yeah, you know the the greatest thing I one of the greatest things about eighties music or you know music from your childhood, like you didn't understand the lyrics as a kid. You just kind of like the 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 rhythm. You know, you 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 like the performance. But Neely, when you get older and you really understand the words, and you're like, man. They were going through the same thing oh, four yeah. years now, ago. Now you, <laughs> now you have lived the lyrics. You were just dancing to the lyrics. You were just listening to the lyrics. You were just playing it loud because it pissed your parents off. But now that you have lived the lyrics, you know, you John Cooper Mellencamp, some of the best storytellers by song, uh, uh, Johnny Cash, you know, it's, hey, man, when when you get to where you're living, have lived the lyrics, these songs mean a lot more. Oh, they hit different. Oh, God, they hit different. Oh, my God. I mean... Mm. I like your list, though. I like your list. I like your list. I had a few substitutions, but not many. All right, we're we're gonna we're gonna do the Neely list. We're, look, we every week we're gonna come up here and just talk about some some non sports stuff. Um, I know you're on a, on a tight time schedule. I, I wanted to have this Prince and Michael Jackson conversation. We could do that another week because that's a whole different show. Oh, I'm I'm looking forward to the Prince Michael Jackson. Conversation. <laughs> when you listen to the lyrics, you're like. Oh man, these guys are great, but they live different lives. They, <laughs> they live different lives. No, we, uh, let's I, get, schedule that Prince Michael Jackson conversation. Then we're also just how you did the top ten in music. We're going to do the top ten wrestlers. I will be. I, I'm. I'm here for that. I. I am apps, and I, I can give you a breakdown of every every person on my list. I, I'm here for that. I am here for that. Neely, I understand that you do a lot of things. Uh, one of your other podcasts uh, with your partners there in Denver, uh, they enjoyed our wrestling conference. That was pretty cool. You you got people talking about what we were talking about on this show on another show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, DMVR, man. Uh, partnership with them. Guys out of Denver, Colorado, and they cover all the sports that are in Colorado. But I work with Ryan and Jake uh, that cover specifically Colorado football. And while doing a live show with them, got questions about the WrestleMania show that you and I did. That is awesome. Shout out to those guys, and, and we'll have much more wrestling uh, because that thing has been developing. We got backlash coming uh, in a couple of weeks, about three weeks away, and uh, the bloodline is their storyline immediately went into a whole different direction. So we'll talk about that in the, in the episodes to come. I also wanted to get in the music producers. There's so much, all this beef going on. I'm like... Huh, who's the greatest music now, producer? Now, now, Rick Ross and Drake, now Rick Ross and Drake are going at it. Yeah, so so there, there's a lot to get into after the show. Neely, always good to uh, just kind of keep the cameras rolling, man, and just talk about things, offer it up to the people that we would be talking about anyway. Uh, you can subscribe. You can keep up with us, thepregameshow.com, the Pregame Show Network, uh, on all social media. Uh, we are here for you. We are we are two men of the people. So thank you guys so much. Uh, Neely, enjoy your day, brother. We're going to catch up soon, all right? 